Hello viewers, welcome to the Save Happy Life channel with Dr. Rose M. And uh, today I would still urge us to continue talking about our children. Because we have a challenge and we have to face this challenge head on. Uh, have you heard what I have heard? The reasons as to why these children are going on strike, some of the reasons that they are giving, why they want to go home. Very, very weird reasons, according to us parents. Some told their principal that we want to go home peacefully, so allow us to walk through the gate. We don't want to destroy our school property. Others, they went and approached the principal and told the principal that uh, you must send us home for school fees. We have not paid school fees, so send us home or we shall go on strike. Others have the strangest that they are miss, missing their sex partners. If this truly happened in these schools, and uh, most probably it may have happened, then we need to think more deeply about our children. I empathize with the teachers who have to keep their cool and balance between protecting school property and maintaining peace when confronted by these daring students. At least the teachers have the option of sending them home. They come home to us parents. Do we have a place we can send them to? The answer is no. So the child comes and uh, on top of uh, that, the school in between the stay of, uh, at home of the child sends you a bill that uh, we need to pay so much amount of money because we need to reconstruct what the children, what your child destroyed. And uh, truth be told, a few of these we are calling strange reasons as that are, that are mentioned as having been mentioned by some students. Uh, it is could be true that, not could be, actually it is true that when we talk of addiction, we only focus on drug addiction, alcohol addiction, because we can see the effects, the physical effects of those uh, behaviors or of those addictions. However, sex addiction, be it heterosexual or otherwise, call it gayism, lesbianism or, 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 or whatever, masturbation, pornography, they are real. It is possible that some of our children are addicted to these behaviors. What may shock us is that this behavior is not practiced outside our homes. Most probably it happens right inside your house, sometimes even when you are there as a parent. Let us accept this fact and let us not deny. Some things are like COVID. COVID does not distinguish between a Christian home, a Muslim home, a royal palace, a, a, a slum dweller, it cuts across. Same with these children's behavior, it cuts across. Our body senses ask for what we feed them on. Most probably you eat salted food. What happens when you put unsalted food in your mouth? The reaction is immediate. Why? Because the tongue is used to the salt and immediately you reach out for the salt shaker and immediately you sprinkle some salt on the food and you eat with satisfaction. Supposing you have somebody who is cooking for you and they forget to put salt in your food one day, two days, three days, four days. What is your like, re reaction likely to be? As we ponder that, why would we be surprised by some of these out of this world reasons? Remember, 
some of these children are already frustrated by with the education or by the education system because of they are overwhelmed by the volume of work, condensed terms or shortened terms, and even the effects of COVID cannot be ruled out. They won't go home for their to their comfort zone where they shine among us to the peers. The world where there are no teachers, the world where there is no homework, the world where there is no there are no rules, and on top of that, they are able to practice what they love. Could be drug addiction, it could be um, substance use, it could be sex, whatever. So they incite the others. Some of these, some of our children, by the way, they are going home without having a clue of why the dormitory was burnt, let alone who burnt it. Just that innocent. But all is not lost, even for the ones who are not necessarily innocent. Let us, the parents, create time to discuss issues with these children. I talked of getting a, your child a mentor. This could be the best time or the best role your mentor could play. Create an environment to discuss challenges. Present issues, topical issues that face uh, teenagers uh, in the voice of a third party. Like ask your child, there is child XYZ who was facing this problem. What do you think or could be the solution to this, to, to this problem? They, that way, the child, your son, your daughter is going to feel appreciated, acknowledged, valued, and they'll start opening up by way of giving the possible solutions. That way, you are reminding him or her that, hey, this is what you're supposed to be practicing, this is what you're supposed to be doing. And you can only now add uh, what may be necessary in the conversation. Do it as many times as possible. Do chores, household chores together. Create that uh, environment. You don't call your child for a conference. If you do, they already put a defense. They put a wall around themselves. But if you do it in the course of the other things that uh, are supposed to be happening in the house, then it's a relaxed atmosphere. When varying topics are discussed over and over, you will win the trust uh, of your child and they'll continue opening up and they will have what you may call a conference within themselves and they start also thinking or rethinking their behavior. And slowly, slowly, this is not a one-time affair or two months uh, uh, expectation, uh, uh, two months and you expect the results. Remember, this is a behavior that has been learned over years. So unlearning it will take a little bit of time. But finally, they will change. I am sure they will change. And um, as parents, we cannot let this responsibility slip through our fingers, the divine responsibility of being parents. That's, that's all for today. Have you subscribed? Please give me your comments down there and uh, share, 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 share. You could help parent somewhere. Bye-bye.